Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Tuesday, January 17th, 2017. And this is a video that I've been planning to make for about three months in response to WSO Steve Olson. Now before we get started, I'd like to show you an email that I sent to Steve Olson last year on December 22nd, 2016. Hi Steve, in light of your recent claims of love and forgiveness etc, I'd like to give you another opportunity to meet me halfway so we can talk respectfully instead of fighting each other. Everyone who knows me well knows that I am a very reasonable person who does not hold grudges and is always willing to forgive and move ahead when I know that the person I'm dealing with is being sincere. So I encourage you to take this opportunity to meet me halfway and accept my offer to talk with me respectfully, otherwise I will be happy to continue to debunk your videos and claims in the new year. I don't say that as a threat, I'm just saying that if you won't meet me halfway, you'll leave me no option. I would prefer to work with you than against you, and I'm sure Astronomy Live, Mari and others feel the same way too. I'm more than happy to talk with you and provide you with information to help you understand what you are seeing and I would back up anything I say with proof, not just making up explanations to fit. It's your move Steve, I'm offering you an olive branch here. It is up to you to accept it. Sincerely, David Dazza the Cameraman. So as you can see I offered an olive branch to Steve Olson and his reply to me on 23rd of December 2016 was I was tracking all the way up to mentioning the group of trolls that celebrated the downing of my channel which is now back up. Dazza, you can go ahead and debunk but to walk into a gauntlet of haters is not the same as forgiveness. By the way I do forgive you all just don't have to take abuse, Steve, Steve Olson. So that was his response. I did offer to try and meet him halfway, uh, offer an olive branch to him, uh, but he chose not to accept that. I did follow up with a couple of extra emails. This one on December 23rd, 2016. You can pause the video if you want to read the email. And again, finally, this one in the new year, on January 13th 2017 was a final offer to Steve Olson of an olive branch before I would proceed with this video. So with that said let's get on with the video. Here we are back at the WSO Steve Olson channel. So let's take a look at the videos and here are the latest videos from Steve Olson. And what I'm going to do now is change the view from the newest videos right back to the oldest original videos on this channel. And as you can see, WSO Steve Olson channel, weird planet in the southern hemisphere, don't look away, holy lord! And the second video he uploaded on this channel, December 17, 2015, Nibiru Wormwood is becoming visible with trailing red cloud. And then this third one, which we're going to take a closer look at in this video. Go look for yourself. The Wormwood system is here. So let's click on this video and let's take a look. So here is the video by WSO Steve Olson. Go look for yourself. The Wormwood system is here. Let's scroll down and see exactly when this video was uploaded. Published on December 17th, 2015. Well, today is January 17th, 2017. So this is now exactly one year and one month since this video was uploaded. So let's watch part of the video and listen to what Steve Olson has to say. Here we go again. Uh, this is recent, December 17th. I'd like you all to go to Skycam, whoever's watching this, and watch this yourself. I'm going to go to Tengashima, Japan first. Trying not to freak out, um, but I need to get this online right away because I don't know how long this will last before the news is going to break. So let's take a look. <sighs> Guys, that's a lens flare coming off the sun here. That is not a lens flare. These are objects. Moons. This is the red object in space. Prepare. So there was Steve Olson freaking out, pushing the panic button, and telling us to prepare. 
telling us, go look for yourself, the Wormwood system is here. Well, it seems that there was one little detail in this video that Steve Olson seemed to overlook. Check out the date in the top left hand corner of the image. It says 2013 July 20th. And you can see here that it says the last upload was 2013 720 or July 20th, 2013. Now Steve Olson uploaded this video on December 17th, 2015. Some two years, four months and 27 days after the images from that webcam were last uploaded. Almost two and a half years after. And he's telling us, go look for yourself, the Wormwood system is here. And now today is January 17th, 2017. And it has been three years, five months and 29 days since the last images were uploaded to all Skycam from that webcam in Japan. Almost three and a half years since those images were uploaded. And Steve Olson is saying the Wormwood system is here now. So here is a tick counter showing the time from the date in the images that Steve Olson used in his video claiming that the Wormwood system had arrived. As you can see we're at three years, five months, four weeks and one day. And we can check from time to time to see how many years, months, weeks and days it's been since Steve Olson announced that the Wormwood system had arrived. Now of course this video would not be complete without addressing what the pink object is in the All Sky camera. So without making this video too long I'll direct you over to my playlist of videos where I've already addressed these images. You'll find a link in the description area to this playlist of All Sky cameras, Nibiru, Planet X and the various videos that I've uploaded in the past debunking various claims of showing Nibiru Planet X on these cameras. As always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching.